Merry Christmas Eve. I hope that uh, this last uh, day before Christmas will be a great day for you. I uh, can't think of a better way to get us started than to continue to look at our Matthew study. Uh, today, uh, let's uh, begin with Matthew chapter 2, verse uh, 3. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. We'll stop there today because I'd like to talk just a little bit about uh, how really to study a book like Matthew. Uh, this in, in one page uh, is, we find the second reference to an Old Testament passage. Uh, before in, verse, in chapter 1 verse 23, uh, we saw the reference to, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel. Uh, that being the Isaiah 7.14 reference. Here in uh, Matthew 2, verse 6, we see a reference to Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. Now, very clearly, uh, when Matthew is writing to his uh, Jewish believers, he is making a reference continuously back to the Old Testament. That's why it is so vitally important for us as Christ followers today not somehow to think that the Old Testament is just for times past and that somehow it's not as relevant or as important to us as what the New Testament is. The fact is, is that Matthew could not conceive of explaining uh, the origins of the Christ child without at the same time going back and making a reference to these Old Testament passages. So, as we study the New Testament, and particularly as we study Matthew, I think it's really a good idea to have a couple of resources at hand. I have, uh, for example, two different uh, study Bibles that I'm uh, using. Uh, the ESV uh, study Bible, which has recently uh, been made available. And then a, a very old favorite of mine, the, the NIV study Bible. One of the th reasons that I like these is not because uh, they happen to be big and thick and make me look, you know, particularly religious, but there are, there are uh, references in here that really help me. Here, for example, in the NIV Study Bible, is a timeline of the Old Testament. And so one of the things that's important to me as I'm studying is to have some idea when I look at a reference to Micah chapter 5, verse 2, it's certainly to get out my Bible and go back to Matthew 5, and, or Micah 5, I should say, and read that. But I also want to get some idea of what it was that Micah was doing and who he was writing to. In this particular case, we see that Micah is about 700 or more years before the time of Christ, that uh, at the time, uh, Syria and Babylonia were uh, the great world powers, and that, um, that Judah and Israel were becoming lesser and lesser powerful in their, in their time and day and age. And yet, uh, here, Micah makes a reference to a shepherd king that will come out of this lowly place called Bethlehem. Now, Bethlehem isn't particularly known for anything else other than the fact that it was the home also of King David, who was the greatest king of all of the united Israel. So basically Micah is saying that there will come a shepherd king and he will also come out of the city or little town of Bethlehem. Now one of the things that's very important for us to have here is a perspective of what was expected at the time of Jesus. You see it's one thing for us after the fact, after knowing the 
the story of Jesus and how he died and rose again and how we believe him to be the, the God-man. It's one thing for us now to go back and look at scriptures and see and pull out Old Testament passages that support what we believe about Jesus. But clearly here in Matthew, we see a reference to what was expected long before Jesus ever was born. When the experts in the Bible at that time, the scribes and the chief priests, uh, gave an answer to Herod, they said, well, here's what Micah had to say, that the Christ child would come out of Bethlehem. So for us today, it just gives us yet another evidence that everything that was expected, everything that people were looking for, even though they didn't know to look, was fulfilled in the baby and who ultimately became the man and who was God, Jesus the Christ. I hope you have a great day today and uh, I'll talk with you again on Christmas Day tomorrow morning.